Gavin Newsom had a relationship with Silicon Valley Bank and he didn't really tell people about it? What? That almost appears a little bit unethical, which, come on, not Gavin Newsom. There was a great article in The Intercept about Gavin Newsom's relationship with Silicon Valley Bank, so I'm kind of going through that in this uh, longer video. But Gavin Newsom came out and praised what the White House had done when they bailed out Silicon Valley Bank. He said um, that the White House acted swiftly and decisively to protect the American economy and strengthen public confidence in our banking system. Now, but when he made that statement, he didn't tell people that he had bank accounts there and that he had businesses with bank accounts there. So he didn't mention that. Mm, that's a little odd, isn't it? I mean, his statement should have probably read, hey, the White House acted swiftly and decisively to protect the American economy and strengthen the public confidence in our banking system. And they also saved my butt because I had all sorts of accounts there and tons of money. So thanks, Joe. That's what the statement should have read like. I'm just saying that would have been a little bit more forthcoming. So what does Newsom have there at Silicon Valley Bank? All right, it looks like he's got three wineries who have accounts with Silicon Valley Bank, Cade, Odette, and Plump Jack. Three wineries? Come on, Newsom. I, you can own one winery, maybe that's okay. Two wineries? It's a little douchey. If you own three wineries, you're a mega douche. I, that's just, that's a rule. I've read it. So anyway, yes. Yeah, so apparently he has three wineries who have accounts with Silicon Valley Bank. And he also maintained personal accounts at Silicon Valley Bank for years. But okay, so he had accounts there. What's the big deal? Okay, he just, he benefited from that bailout, but he was just talking about it after, like, good job. It kind of saved my butt. That's awesome. At least he didn't say anything beforehand to, to try to influence the decision because that could definitely look unethical and like a conflict of interest, right? Oops, except for he did say something beforehand. Did you see that I was going there? Anyway, uh, again, this is from The Intercept, but this says that um, this is on Monday that Newsom added that he had been in close contact with the administration about Silicon Valley Bank over the last 48 hours. I've been in touch with the highest levels of the leadership at the White House and Treasury. Uh-oh, that sounds like you were talking to them before the bailout. So you were influencing what, what they were going to do or trying to as the governor of California that really is a conflict of interest and kind of unethical because you had a lot of money there and uh, you definitely should have disclosed that. You should have started with that. Hey, Joe, look, I got a crap ton of money at Silicon Valley Bank. Just keep that in mind. Can you do me a solid? Let's bail those suckers out. Um, so he he did talk to them beforehand about it. But I'm not sure if he told them he had accounts there. It's Gavin Newsom, so I'm assuming not, and the article doesn't talk about any disclosure beforehand, so I'm guessing not. But look, the relationship between Newsom and this bank was, you know, an arm's length relationship. I mean, it wasn't like he was tight with them, right? Even though he had a ton of count accounts, you know, there wasn't anything else weird going on. They made it look like they had a super tight relationship, right? Except for this thing. Um, it said here that, let's see, let me find it. Okay. I guess Governor Gavin Newsom requested that the bank make a $100,000 donation from Silicon Valley Bank to his wife's charity. Okay, now that seems like not, I mean, you're, you're really tight with these guys. I mean, if I called my bank and I said, hey, you guys, my wife has this charity that has to do with bean bags, and would you I would get a click. They would hang up immediately. I guess Newsom calls, send a hundred grand over to my wife's charity, and they're like, absolutely, Gavin. It also looks like Newsom's people tried to say, hey, this is still fine because all those assets are in a blind trust. So just chill out. This blind trust looks like his sister, Hillary Newsom. Um, was the one controlling uh, the assets in that blind trust. So that makes it all better and not shady and unethical. But the thing is, I also remember 
when Trump had a blind trust, people lost their minds because that was not cool. And obviously, he had a lot of control over that. Let's see. And, and um, with Donald Trump, it looks like his blind trust was going to be run by his sons. So I don't know. Gavin Newsom's blind trust with all this stuff and it run by his sister is fine. But the blind trust of Trump being run by his sons is not fine. I agree, too. I mean, anything with Trump, absolutely bad and wrong. But if it's with Gavin Newsom, totally, it's going to be fine. The bottom line, I think Gavin Newsom should have probably not said anything because he had a bunch of accounts, businesses in his own at Silicon Valley Bank when this was going down. He shouldn't have said anything. And I also think the state of California is partly responsible for the takeover of that, like the feds and some agencies in the state of California, which I'm guessing the governor would have something to do with. It just kind of smells and it, it sure seems like a conflict of interest and so there's some some ethical issues. All right. Thanks for watching.